hi guys very good evening to you uh, welcome to the video number 240 and uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, one of the uh, feature available in the VBM uh, Excel macros that how you can actually speed up your macros right how you can bring the speed to your code and uh, this video actually I'm uploading because I have been asked by one of my dear subscribers and uh, I can show you the comment actually Harsha uh, Harsha Vardhan has uh, written me this thing uh, that um, can you please share some tips on how to optimize VBA macros uh, I think he replied he uh, comment commented given his comments a week back and uh, so I you know got the actually I, I was trying to upload the video just due to some busy uh, you know schedule I, I couldn't upload the video but today we are going to talk about that guys right that how you actually can uh, speed up your macros and I know that everybody wants to run the macros you know uh, very fast no doubt they run very fast but still you can do a lot of things in that right now for those who are watching the channel for the first time uh, I want to tell you that we have created the videos on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA please go click on this playlist and you will see different different categories here and we have uh, all the videos like starting from the basic plus intermediate and advanced level videos right okay anything you didn't find uh, you don't find in this then just let me know ping me uh, you can leave your comment and definitely I'll get back to you okay and I share it with everyone so in this video guys uh, we're going to discuss that I'm going to tell you this um, very nice tip that how you can actually speed up the macro but before we do that we need to actually see that uh, what is the total time you know we want to see how uh, how much time total it is going to take for a macro to run and the second thing is how you can actually bring the speed so we are going to uh, do this macro in two ways one is uh, without or using the application dot screen updating which is a feature and one is with you you know uh, using this application dot screen updating and then you will be you will be able to see the difference right so I'm going to write here a simple macro uh, any macro you can name it let's say I'm just going to write it dummy to understand it and in this macro I'm going to run a loop for example I equals to 1 2 uh, I'm going to run this loop 30 times okay and 30 times what I'm going to do is now this is the loop I am uh, ha I have written here I hope you know that this loop right this is called the for next loop if you don't have any idea no worries you can do one thing you can pause the video and you can go uh, to this uh, uh, here we have a playlist called Excel VBA uh, you can see here collection and other loops this is sorry for the access this is for the Excel VBA go ahead and watch this and there is another uh, series which we have created on Excel VBA loops so you just need to scroll it down and you would see somewhere here Excel VBA loops I'm not sure yeah that's the one guys okay when you click on this let me just click on this uh, you see that here you have the part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 part 5 and then part 6 and then part 7 all the videos are here I have actually explained a lot about the loops here so just start watching these videos from the scratch and rest of the videos which you are seeing you know these are all the other examples you know kind of uh, intermediate and very advanced extremely advanced videos so go ahead and watch all those videos these are the basic videos which you must see right so we have everything for you now uh, the next thing which I actually want to do is um, I want to uh, run this loop and what we want to do is I simply want to open a workbook ex any excel file I mean you can see that so this is how we write the you know to open the file and here I'm going to uh, let's say open this intro file which is on my desktop let me just go to the properties and I'm going to copy the path from here so you copy the path and this is the file which I want to open it and then what I will do I will simply close it okay so this is how you can close it active workbook dot close okay now this should happen 30 times okay so this is going to take a little time and we want to actually capture the time that how much time this macro is going to take right so for that I'm going to write this um, now by the way I have already uploaded a video on this where I have explained a lot you know that how to uh, find that what is the total duration your macro is taking so I'm not really going to repeat that stuff here just go ahead and you know watch that video uh, that video is um, you can um, just find uh, you you would find that video you can search on this my channel and uh, you know find it out that uh, just write in there that how to uh, find the you know the total duration the macro is going to take right so it's very simple there all right I think it's on the Excel VBA functions maybe I'm not sure but we can go here and I can check that if the video is there yeah exactly so I remembered it right 
all right you should appreciate me for this right i remember because there are so many videos you know <laughs> we are creating and i still remember so this is the video number 236 guys and how to record the time taken by a macro just go ahead and watch it so i'm going to write here the code that how to uh, basically um you know record this how much time it is going to take so we declare here let's say um the start time which is start time and uh, i'm going to declare my dim end time as well and um, i'm going to declare them as variant or you just can leave it just leave it like this they will be by default the variant okay and uh, then uh, you you need to declare i as well long and uh, then couple of more variables i want to declare here you shouldn't use the dim word if you are using everything in one line so this is a variable i'm going to declare a as uh, long and then b as long and then c as long and then uh, let's go to the next line one more variable i'm going to declare i hope you have seen that video right please go ahead and watch that video you would understand what i'm doing actually i'm just creating the variables so start time is going to be what time start time is going to be format and then you're going to you know uh, note the basically the time this is your time now returns the time and we are going to use the hh and mm format okay that's fine and then i'm going to use a and i'm going to extract the hour from this start time whatever the time i will have as per my machine and similarly this is going to give me the minutes okay and uh, by the way i think spelling mistakes so minute start time and we're going to run this then i'm going to write here seconds let me quickly wrap this up we're going to start time there we go and then start time finally would be equals to a plus b plus c okay and don't forget to write here 3600 because we want to convert everything in seconds right so this hour to convert it into seconds i want to you know convert it into seconds so i'm multiplying it actually with 3600 and here i am going to multiply it with 60 and this would be one okay because if c comes as a text then it should be converted into a number that is why i'm multiplying and finally you will have your start time the same line you need to actually copy this all these four lines uh five lines actually and i want to now once the loop through once this loop is finished the the code is going to finish what we actually want to do is uh, we want to write here another variable which is end time and here i'm going to write here aa this these are the other variables which we are creating and this should be end time and again this is going to be end time and this is going to be end time and this aa plus bb plus cc and this is going to be end time like this all right so now here you're going to message box you're going to deliver the message box and uh, you're going to say that uh, end time minus start time all right okay so since you're watching this video uh, i'm not sure whether you have watched that video how to record the macro so uh, let me just give you at least an idea you know because if you're watching this video and later on you can definitely go ahead and watch that video again now what happens actually uh, when i'm going to uh, run this look at this this start time basically this is a now function now function returns the date and the time you can also use this function in the excel now this is going to format the time in the hh and mm and you see that i have got 18 58 28 this is the time when i'm actually recording this video okay now this hour means it is going to extract this hour from this 18 58 28 and you know that it is going to return 18 and then 18 is going to be multiplied with 3600 because we want to convert everything into seconds right so 18 multiplied by 3600 gives you 64 8 800 seconds 64,800 seconds right similarly minute is also going to extract this 58 and second is going to extract your 28 so c will have only the 28 and now this a b plus c you know you're going to add up all the things so that means you are actually uh, summing up the you know the total duration in seconds so this is what exactly you see now this much of the time uh, you know we have got it when this macro is going to start now the next time when this loop will run okay 30 times the loop is going to run once let's say let's just assume that the loop is finished okay now it goes to the end time so we will be able to capture this end time as well now the now again going to give you the time when the loop is going to be finished and it will of course you know going to give you a new time and similarly you know aa and bbcc everything is going to give you in the seconds and then what happens 
the moment you uh, run this macro it says that 60 seconds basically it has taken right so this is what exactly uh, we have done now i am again repeating for the last time guys i am not somebody who really like to explain the videos like this right uh, you know that i am i'm not i'm telling you that i am not really going in depth because of the simple reason that we have already uploaded a video on this that how to record the time so the same thing we have used in this video number 236 please go ahead and watch that video right my main purpose of this video is to tell you how to run the macro fast now we have got everything here and one thing i want to write is that the total seconds taken is that's it and join it with this end time okay now let's go ahead and run this macro now what it is going to do is it is going to 30 times this this is your basically the main macro 30 times the loop will run and 30 times this workbook would open and then close it keeps on getting that right so let's see how much time it is going to take so before i do that i just want to close this everything so let me just close this ppt as, as well and uh, let me just close in fact everything okay so let's just quit everything all right there we go now i'm going to hit on this button all right so let's just hit on this and there we go you see that the file is getting opened and getting closed you are seeing this you know like screen is flashing so let's just wait because the loop is going to take 20 times though it is running very fast all right total time seconds taken is 20 seconds so it has taken 20 seconds which i believe is a good time right it, it's really not the issue right now uh you know uh the thing is uh if i if i on the top i write this application there is a code application dot screen updating equals to true uh, sorry false by default it is always actually uh true now you won't see the screen is getting moved and you know in this way the macro is going to really run very fast okay now for example i create the button here i should have created the button before also but no not a problem i just going to click here and i'm going to right click on this and assign macro there we go and uh, we're going to use this dummy one i think that's the name i forgot yeah that's the name okay let me just close this okay now let us go ahead and run this macro all right there we go now do you see that the screen is not really you know flashing that much it's actually doing you can see here in the you know the book one here but still it's not that clear you know it's not really flashing so much so now the time taken is 13 seconds guys you see that there is a huge huge not i would say huge difference but if you see the code eh, the code is very small now what if you have a big big code right where you are taking a lot of time now this though uh, this code uh, you know uh, i mean generally also if you if you don't use this option it has taken not i think more than 15 16 seconds i think that was no, that was the duration which was coming i just completely forgot sorry i can run it again but let let us do one thing let let me increase this 50 let's do it by the 50 seconds okay and now let's comment this out commenting this out means that this time this application is not uh, this code is not going to be considered so the the you know vba when when you're going to run this it is going to take its natural time and yeah you can see that right the screen is proper you know it's actually flashing right that is a uh, uh, the also the indication you can whenever you run the macros and you see that really things are not moving the screen is not moving you know then you must understand that your person who has generated the macro you know he has used the application dot screen update option right in this case we are not using it by default it always remains a true which means that screen should be updated and user will should be able to see that right so we are just running this and the total time taken is 32 seconds all right so 32 is still it's a very uh, small time but you know i'm just giving the example right your macro can be lengthy so now i'm going to comment uncomment this line 32 seconds i remember right i i'm gonna write it here okay now let's go ahead and uh, let's run this macro again okay now remember i have uh you know uh, written there on the top application dot screen equals to uh, screen updating equals to uh, false right so let's go ahead and run this now there we go now you see that your screen is not flashing at all right just the title is kind of you know on and off but it's now you can see it's not doing anything here so let us see how much time this time this macro is going to take 
though it is a very small macro you know but if i'm going to run this loop thousand times then you can imagine you know you will save a significant time on this and we use it a lot look at this it's a difference of 20 uh, 10 seconds actually right 22 seconds are there so if you macro if you're going to make your macro you know uh, more long then i can say that you are going to save more time so if i just write here 500 which i will not do because i'm just recording the video i don't want to eat up your time but you can do this you can practice it on this and you would find the big big difference so that is the guys which the thing which i wanted to tell you so Hasha, i hope uh, this is definitely going to rock you now because you were looking for this and of course to all my lovely people around there who are actually watching this video i hope you can definitely take the benefit of this right but don't forget before the enter when your macro finishes and you know everything um, your know, this um, finishes you just take this option back to the true which is the by default option right so that's it and using the application dot screen updating you can bring the significant difference in your macro time all right so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this channel for the first time i will be back with some more exciting stuff very soon thank you so much guys have a wonderful day